my friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So, we talk about raising pigs in the woods, so that's why I'm out here today, in the woods. We are gonna work on moving those blue butts out here into the woods on the back side of the property. This is our first time putting animals over here. Um, if you recall in a video, a couple of videos ago when Jamie and I went and bought um, that last group of piglets, we had worked on access over into this area and we were gonna build the paddock out and move the piglets in here all in that day. Well, that was kind of a crazy undertaking. But uh, today, Sondra and I are gonna work on this area here that I'm sitting in right now. We're gonna put some posts in, pull some wire and see if we can get those piglets moved over here and test out our woods and see how well um, piglets are gonna grow here in the woods in the uh, foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. So hang out with us for a little bit and let's set up the pig paddock. So the overall plan here is we're gonna load those blue butts and that other Hertford barrow onto uh, Jamie's trailer because it sits higher than our stock trailer. <clears throat> and we're gonna attach it to the tractor. We're gonna try backing it across the creek down here. And then we're gonna set up our paddock in this area here. And the camera is not gonna really do it justice on exactly how steep this is. But this is a pretty steep um, area right in here. There is a uh, an old logging road that kind of goes right through there. Um, so that'll give us a flat area to set a feeder on. I think we could probably set the feeder right back here. Kind of in this area where the road sort of comes together. Right in here. <clears throat> so we've got a flat spot to set a feeder on. And then the drinker. We're probably gonna put their drinker down here closer to the creek and we've got a pump we're gonna try pumping out of the creek i know we've got the yard hydrants right across the creek at the barn but uh, we're just gonna try that pump see if we can get it to work see how that works out but we're gonna set up our paddock we're gonna put some fence posts out here probably gonna have to do a little chainsaw work a little weed eater work to trim some lines clear some space so let's get on that right now and uh man that's steep and rocky too let's say some big rocks in here Let's see how this goes. So we've got our posts laid out. They're kind of hard to see up here in the woods, um, the old leaf litter that's on. But uh, we've got our posts laid out. We need a couple more down here close to the creek. Uh, so Sandra's gonna take the side by side and run and get a couple of those. Um, I just cut this little branch out of the way. It's old little sprig of a pine that had fell over. So I cut it out of the way because it's laying right where the fence is going. I think the thing that we're gonna have to watch with this area here there's a lot of um, debris on the ground, limbs, leaves, all that kind of thing. And these animals are still pretty short. I think the problem that we're going to run into is they're going to berm up against the wire. We see that a lot out in the field. They'll berm up the grass and dirt and that kind of thing. I think the issue we're going to run into here is going to be they're going to berm up some of these limbs and leaves and things. So we'll just keep a close eye on the fence, make sure that we're not grounding out, make sure it stays good and hot. These animals are well trained, so shouldn't be a big deal, but there's probably gonna be a little bit of maintenance on our part. So just uh, something to keep in mind. All right, wire is in. Um, had to go back a couple places and add some 
extra posts to uh, make up for a change in elevation, change in the slope. That wasn't any big deal. And then had to come in here and we cut just a few little saplings, nothing major. So next step, we were just talking, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get the uh, energizer, put the energizer on it, test it. Make sure we've got good hot spark. And this, you know, it's ended up, it's not quite as big as we felt like it was, primarily because when we were putting it together and we're doing all that walking, it, uh, and it's steep in here. And so it's, it's really not very big. We'll get used to that, but good test paddock, good, good opportunity to try this out, see how this is gonna work for these pigs. Hope they don't run off into the woods, but uh, we're we'll gonna get the energizer put on here. Barely see that wire. I like that speed right wire. I think I've showed that before. I'm gonna post a link to it in the description down below. Um, go check that out. And also while you're there, if you're doing any Christmas shopping, um, check out, click on our Amazon link. Um, getting ready to purchase something on Amazon. Don't cost anything extra. We get a little commission on that. Helps the channel out. And uh, buy your family something nice for Christmas. Let's get that energizer. Put it on here and uh, test that thing out. See how hot it is. 65. As long as they don't slide under it or accidentally step over it, that ought to hold them. One of our challenges is going to be getting the blue butts into this stock trailer so we can transfer them over to Jamie's stock trailer. So they're up here on the hill right now. I see a couple through the grass. We're going to feed them in the trailer here, see if we can get everybody enticed to come down and have a little snack. Here they come. Hello, baby. I told them that was going to be a challenge. That wasn't much of a challenge at all, was it? No. I said I told them that was going to be a challenge. That wasn't much of a challenge at all. Hard part is yet to come. Yeah, the hard part's yet to come. So this should work out pretty good. So what Sandra's doing is she's kicking some hay up on the uh, gate so that it doesn't look like a major transition to them. So what we'll do, they're behind the cut gate. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll open up. I don't know if that thing will cut, open all the way or not, will it? The cut gate? Yep. Okay. So we're gonna open that cut gate up and see if they will, uh, see if they'll come on in.
<laughs> oh Lord, y'all, we must be living right or something. Like, did y'all see that? <laughs> you didn't do anything, did you? No. You just walked around there and they no, just... I didn't even do that. They did it on their own. They done it on their own. How about that? They did every bit of that on their own. All right. Knock on some wood somewhere. I feel y'all's prayers. I appreciate y'all continuing to pray for us. That right there is proof that, uh, that it works. All right. Gonna pull up. We gotta get the lift gate. Gotta get that rear gate put back up, and then we'll uh, see if we can get this baby, get these babies across the creek. Check that out. Huh? Check it where it. I'll tell y'all. If I didn't redneck, I don't know what is. But look at there. We backed right up to the wire. So what we're gonna do, this is I can't believe it. Is it all? Because it'll energize that whole trailer. Huh? Don't start counting yet. Yeah, don't count you. Don't oh, count your piggies until they're in the paddock, I guess. But uh that actually worked out pretty daggone good. I'm kinda Okay, I'm kind of surprised here. Let me. y'all y'all that's just good lord looks out for drunkards and fools and crazy farmers but here we are so i know the camera probably didn't catch it but <clears throat> saunders said one of them came over and walked right up to the fence right here looked at it and turned around so the training has worked but uh look at them already digging in those leaves looking for something to eat munching hi right, y'all This is what it's all about, y'all. Raising these animals out here in a, in a natural environment where they can, you know, fully express their personalities and their natural instincts and just do what they're supposed to do. These animals aren't supposed to be hemmed up in these confinement feeding operations and never see any sunshine or fresh air and poop down through a grade into a 
slurry pit that goes out and stinks up the neighborhood. <clears throat> These animals ought to be out here in the woods. Look at this. All right, that worked out fantastic. That's better than what I thought, don't you? That worked out great. Yeah, that went good. All right, so we got the fence on. Fence is on, pigs are in. Let's get them set up with a little water, a little feed. Ain't that something? All right, y'all, on a couple of videos back, I showed you we were burying this power in uh, water line because we had, this is a well. Had the well wired up so that we could uh, have water all down here on this part of the property. Spent a pretty healthy chunk of change to do that. So, my lovely wife, always the adventuresome one, decides that she wants to try a drill pump. So there she is in the creek, burning up my good DeWalt drill with a drill pump that we bought on Amazon. And it works, it works great. We'll go over here and I'll show you uh, how much water we're getting through this thing if I can get across the creek and not fall and drown myself. So she's got that drill pump down there. Show them that thing right there. Don't pull it out of the water. Yeah, just a little old pump goes on the drill. Got an inlet and an outlet. And uh, it's running up here on the business end. We're getting a good flow, <laughs> getting a good flow of water, so it works. So if you're out somewhere in the wilderness and you don't have power, but you've got your black or your good DeWalt drill and a couple of well charged batteries and some garden hose, you can uh, move all the water you want. So our crazy redneck plan worked. Um, we we're able to get the new paddock set up, get those pigs transferred from one trailer to the other, and then back across the creek and uh, put in their new paddock. We got uh, the drill master down here pumping a little water into our barrel and uh, everybody's just happy as, a, happy as little clams. So I think that's going to do it. Like we always say, please, please remember to keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.